What's that smell? <sighs> the sweet blood. Bart Chickle just resubscribed for 17 months. 17 months, Pog. <clears throat> Hi, Bart. It's like the fancy alert I made for it. I am just grabbing a drink and stuff before I start because I have literally just finished work. I am also hoping my microphone sounds better because I've been like trying to fix it ever since it uh, all decided to reset itself a couple of weeks ago. Hi shiny. Um, this is just the the um, title menu music for Bloodborne. There we go, so camera has gone and you've now got this. Oh but it's only for 30 minutes. And you get to pick because we've got bear, gnome, wobbuffet, could be a burb, or it could be a space marine. It's whichever you want. 
Wobba Fett. Wobba Fett. There we go. I'm Manu. I'm a Wobba Fett. Nice to meet you. Right, um. So, yeah, Bloodborne. Doing the scumbag playthrough. So. I'm going to use every trick oh, and tip yeah. I know Pale. to try and break these bosses. <laughs> Make them as easy as I can. Well, you've come use to all the, right the alternate routes and shit Yarnum like that. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. <sighs> What's that smell? But there's an outsider <sighs> like yourself to begin. The sweet blood. <sighs> Cora Manu just re for 17 months. Oh no. <laughs> Hi Manu, how are you? Need a contract. You can play Wobba Fett on Bar. It was his idea. So. Name. Who wants to give me a name? You can pick whatever you want. Bofa. <laughs> Bofa, come base. Manu got there first. So we'll go for Bofa. Uh, now. A military veteran. Okay, yeah, it is. Strength and skill. Military veteran. That's the one we want. And now we just mess with his. Gonna mess with his build and stuff. Um, <laughs> no worries, Manu. And we should make him pale as fuck because everybody in Yarnum should look like that. stuff doesn't matter so much we'll give him some glasses though or should we give him a monocle or the stupid goggles you can get like matrix glasses sunglasses tiny little reading specs <gasps> give him a monocle go for it she's got a monocle and then Seeing as we're going for a monocle, we'll give him the, uh... Do I give him the twirly? Or do we give him the detective one? We'll give him the detective one. There. Here we go. So... This is Bofa. Let's begin. So yeah, I've gone for military veteran for my starter because it comes with the highest strength and skill. So skill is basically dex in every other game. Blood tinge applies to guns and arcane is weird magic stuff. So yeah, we're going for strength and skill. So we begin. I am doing it online as well, but there's not likely to be many people actually online for the game. So I think last time I played, I had like two invaders overall for the entire game. Um, It is playable on PS5. I'm playing it on a PS5, but it doesn't have a PS5 upgrade for it. For like higher ah, resolution, let's begin better frame and stuff. Oh, don't you worry. Actually, if you Whatever get happens, a PS5, it's one of the games they just give you. Like when you get a PS5, you get um, access to like iconic games in the back catalog. Uh, Bloodborne is one of them. So this is our guy, having been given an, a blood transfusion.
for a mystery illness is now just kind of freaking out. Because Yarnon has this fun thing where they fix everything with blood. Everything. So there's a werewolf friend. There's your first hint of the game. It's anything beastly looking, use fire against it. <gasps> oh, spike! And now we have these creepy little fellas. Spike. Asefka's clinic. Or Asefka's. I never did learn how to say that properly. And here is us. In our fancy clothes. So we're going to do it this way. Can't do anything with us yet. And we've currently got our fists. So I can chop stuff. I can heavy attack, which is punch. You can charge up the punch. And you get that, that little ting is fully charged. I can switch between one or two handed and then I've got left punch. <gasps> Are you making noise, Spike? It's the first thing I always do. There is a wolf down here and I always try and kill it. Technically it's supposed to be the souls thing of always dying to the first thing. The first boss. Oh, that's kind of the that one. You can see me rally a bit there then. So the, the best thing Bloodborne has is I love. Booty slap. It's called the rally mechanic. So if you take damage. That game audio is a bit loud. Uh, where are you at? Right, this. Bleeding. Yeah. So the, the game has a thing called the rally mechanic, which is you can use blood vials. They're your healing potions. But if you get hit, you don't lose the health straight away. Like your health bar dulls. And if you manage to damage the enemy in that time, you can get some of the health back. So I'll see if I can show it off a bit better with a guy out here. So all the rest of that is locked up at the moment. You can kind of slip into there, but it's really awkward to do. Because the werewolf guy, you can get him to do a grab attack, that then drops you on the other side of this gate. It's really awkward to do. There's our first look at Yarnum. Nice big gothic town. Got some more vials. So there's a dude up here I might be able to show the rally mechanics. If you watch my health bar, he'll hit me. It dulls. And as I hit him, it goes back up again. And dodging this works pretty much the same as Dark Souls. It's just instead of a roll, you do kind of like a dash thing. But yeah, the, uh, the rally mechanic is really cool. It means you can play really aggressive with some stuff if you want. But I keep telling DivGen that he should play Bloodborne because... One of his favourite things is just standing there and smacking the boss. And with Bloodborne, that's a valid tactic. As long as you've got enough health and stamina to do it, you can carry on doing it. So we'll get the ladder down. Yeah, 
on you too. Angry villagers. Come on. Swing at me. Come on, hit me. And yeah, if you manage to hit two enemies with the same swing, you heal twice as much. So it's even viable if you're going against big groups and stuff with people. They also seem to be failing at getting the back stuff off the stack. So one of the things with backstabs in this game is you can only do them off a charged attack. So you have to get behind the enemy and then go a fully charged heavy. Yeah, it's a good change up. It's a good difference that they made. Come on. They got dead. So over here should be Molotovs, if I remember right. Yes. Molotovs always come in handy. Now up here is our first checkpoint. And that lovely screaming sound is one of the bosses. Although you can't exactly see it from here. He's usually over there somewhere. But everything. Here's our 777 yeah. trillion 777 billion 777 million 777,777. So yeah, these little lanterns here, these are basically your bonfires for this game. And if you see a red lantern like this, it means there's someone to talk to there. Oh, you must be a hunter. Hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. Gilbert. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. And as you well, can see, we are already covered in blood if I wanted everywhere. To, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. Mellow. This time, whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Spike. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much, but normally they wouldn't... So yeah, this is where you learn that the church are the people who sort out all the healing using blood and that they have different types they use. And we're trying to find the pale blood for whatever reason. So we'll use this. Takes us to the hunter's dream and we can get our weapons. But yeah, this is my favourite out of the FromSoft games. Even after playing Elden Ring, I still would go back to this any day. So this is an abandoned doll. 
does nothing at the moment. And over here, our little creepy fellas have brought us gifts. So, our message offers you a trick weapon. Choose one trick weapon. Are we either with the right hand? Employed in beast hunting. So we get three options. All of these weapons are trick weapons because they like transform between two modes. So you've got the cane, which is more of a skill based weapon or dex based weapon. Um, and it goes from like a cane to like a whip. You got the hunter's axe, which goes from like a one handed axe to a big two handed one. And we've got the saw, saw cleaver, which is the one we'll be using for uh, for the time being. And it goes from basically what you see there, like a folded up hatchet into quite a large saw. So we'll put this. There you go, so you can see it folded up. Use the trick. Changes to that. So you get regular light attacks, heavy attack, heavy attack charges up same as the fist. But what you get with the trick weapons is the transform attack, which is really good with this thing. So it switches it between the two modes in an attack. And for this thing it's really good. And then we get your gun. Is how you parry stuff in Bloodborne. So you got the Blunderboss. Blunderboss has a wider shot. Uh, basically, it's better for hitting fast moving stuff. You got the Hunter Pistol. It's quicker to use, uh, but it is a single shot, so you've got to be accurate with it. And then the messengers leave you the notebook, which is for leaving messages and shit everywhere. And then you have this totally legitimate, not creepy looking fella. Aha! You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. For now. I am. Gehrman, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, yeah, but Gehrman's a creepy don't folk. think too Look hard him. about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. Yeah, just come kill stuff. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. All right. Ah. And Garmin isn't real. So here is where we can upgrade weapons. You can repair them if you need to. And we'll get another other stuff there later. And this is our storage box. Where you can put items in storage. And as you can see there's a shit ton of categories. And over here. It's the memory altar but we can't do anything with this yet. Keep this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. And then outside we've got a load of gravestones. We've got a little bath, but we can't do anything yet because we don't have any insight. We have this little bath here. We can buy things. So this is usually where you'd buy all your weapons and you, where you can buy new gear. But important things you can buy here are blood vials and bullets. Now there is something people do with this game that they always fail at, but I'll, I'll mention that later when we can get around to it. But it specifically involves that back messenger. <gasps> Oh no, they, Bart redeemed a thing, so I have a VTuber model, I've got a couple of them set up, and Bart redeemed a thing for me to do it for like 30 minutes, which is up in about 5 minutes, then I'll switch back to cam. 
Hi Alex. And hi Marie and hi Trua. But yeah, Bart picked Wobbuffet purely to troll Manu. Right. Back to the fight we go. So these gravestones are your teleport points. And we're going back to Central Yarnum. So we'll reappear at the little lamp again. And yeah, how's everybody doing today? So now we have a weapon. I should equip my gun as well. Gun. I can make a cat girl model. I'll put it down as one of my projects once I'm done messing with emotes. So, this bit, we're just going to fight through. So these guys are just random villagers from Yarman, Yarnum and they like attacking you. No it's not, I fucked up. That's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of villagers wandering around here. Because they're all out on the hunt for beasts. But I'm not a beast, so we can get more of Ow. Be careful of the fire though, fire hurts. Go. You dropped something. Hey, I got my blood vial back. Now for the first enemy that could potentially ruin my day. <laughs> just a little bit creepy man. Just for you. So <laughs> Yeah, this is the first enemy that could ruin my day. He's big, he's strong. Pretty much the only real way to deal with him is to parry him. And I am not good at parrying in this game. At all. So. Oh, did it. And yeah, the rally effect. If you get a parry off, you get almost all of your health back. Did it. I did it. First try. Ah, oh, unlucky. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that guy drops an upgrade material, meaning you can get a weapon upgrade almost straight away. But he didn't want to drop it this time. So, we'll make our way through the mean streets of Yarnum, where there's just mess everywhere, to be honest. No sneaking up for you. We've got another guy here. He's trying to trap you, actually. You're supposed to go for this item, then he hits you. this dude around the corner hits you. So you just go. And that is an upgrade material. So we got one there. But if you get one off the guy down below, you like you can get multiple upgrades straight away. We got another guy who jumps out here. And we got these guys wandering back. So I'm gonna take these guys out. I don't want them to sneak up behind me. Yeah, this is a game I know well. Like this and Dark Souls 3 are the ones I've played more than anything else out of the series. Oh, that's the other thing about Rally as well. Um, the enemy doesn't have to be alive for it to work like if they're falling over as you kill them you can keep hitting them until they hit the floor and you will still get health back so we go this way so I don't want to get trapped by all them down there they're burning a werewolf so a couple of them will run up here say a couple of them it's more than usual so 
Oh yeah, there's something on the other side of that door. And we'll get this dude who comes up the stairs, then I'll show you the werewolf. And you can see he you can see he doesn't like like covered in hair and looks vaguely beast-like. But yeah, over there. They get a werewolf on a cross that they're burning. Because this is supposed to be the night of the hunt. So grab these. And we're gonna sneak down behind them over this way. But first Bart's 30 minutes are up, so bye bye Wobba Fett. back to me again. So, sneak down this way, kill the hidden dog, kill this dude. They <laughs> escaped the Wobble Fat prison, just. Um, Literally the only use of those pedals. Right. Drawing people out like that. Although, there are randomised dungeons in the game you can do. Um, which are called chalice dungeons. I may do some later on. You can get uh, upgrades to your weapons and stuff that have stats on them. One of the stats you can get increases the damage that those pebbles do. And like with the right build it is viable to make a just kill stuff by throwing pebbles at them build. We've seen somebody do it. Right, nice pile of bodies there. Pick this up. The other dude's gonna start shooting at me. Wait. Ah, I went too far. Wait, where have you come from? Right, let's get him. He's hiding up here. I'm giving them bolts. So this will be the first bit where I do differently to a lot of people. So I'll grab this item. Kill the crows. Don't these crows are creepy. First time I played this game, these crows scared the shit out of me. Because they jump like that. And the sound they make when they do it. Right, kill the crows. Get the oil urns. And this was the thing making noise and banging on the other side of the door. If I can sneak up on him. Oh, poor Mellow. Yeah, I'm not so bad, surprised, but the pro noises scare me as well. And now we have the torch. So the torch goes in the gun hand and works like a torch. But you can also use the torch as a weapon. You can stab stuff with it. So what a lot of people do at this point is they see these stairs and go up there. I'm not going to do that because that way it takes you up a little bit and straight to a boss. And you've not had any chance to level up or anything like that. But hidden over here is a side route and most people miss this. 
Okay. More dogs down here. Just because these dogs can come after you. Yeah, the stairs up over there are dangerous. Like, they take you to a boss and they take you to a lot of angry enemies. So I always come down this way. Most people don't know this is here and it's a nice shortcut back. Because if we go... Go up here, grab this. But this is a dead end. But if we go this way... Open the door. Kill this guy hiding inside. Kill this man. We can open the second door on the other side of this building. Kill this man up here. Another weapon upgrade, and we can open this gate. And this gate leads us back to the first lab. So we get a shortcut all the way back to the beginning now. So we're going to continue on down here. We're going to ignore this building for now. Let's see if I can't get these rock trolls. Come on, let me parry. Let me parry. frames while you're doing the parry attack so other enemies will just pass through you so we've got over here there's an elevator we can't use so we're going to continue on this way back past the dogs ignore her because we can't help her yet so this area you usually don't get to until later but it's like a sewers area but the reason i've gone through this gate is some items hanging here i can't pick it up so we chop it down and get it later which is what we're gonna do we got one there we got one here a chop. There. So. Grab this item. <gasps> Hi, Greg. Why did that alert not go off? What are you doing to me, alerts? Or is it just being slow because it's not showing up on my activity feed either? <laughs> Bad Manu. Bad. I think it's just being slow because it's not even showing on the activity feed for the stream. <sighs> oh, what's that smell? <sighs> the sweet blood. Greg there it the is. Boomer just resubscribed for 13 months. Yo. Hi, Greg. Hi, Dave. How are you both doing? Oh. So this is Eileen the Crow. She's got some of the coolest what, clothes in the game. What a mess I really like her, like, crow feather cloak. And tonight. We'll just chat with her. She gives us that. Which is our teleport back to a lamp. 
Prepare yours. There are no. And then she gives us a new what? emote as well. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna drop down over here. We can't get back up there, so we have to drop down like this. So how are you doing, Greg? And how are you doing, Dave? You got you got me pretty near the start. Ow. You take care of. And you got me on my bum while back. So when it popped up then, with the little minus on it, that means I'm full on the ones that I can carry. So spare ones go into my storage. It's a scumbag build, Greg. So we are going for all the advantages we can. Which means I am about to pick up the weapon we'll probably use for the rest of the game. Right, you. Is it this side I need to drop down on? I'm pretty sure it's this side. So where's the little things I can stand on? There. So yeah, you can see the item I dropped down earlier there, and one there. But yeah, this is scumbag build, Greg. So we drop in here. Big rats. Gives me a throwing knife. And there is the weapon we will be using for the rest of the game. <laughs> so we got saw cleaver, saw spear. Only difference between the two really is there's a slight difference in the move set, and also the transform has a different move set. But yeah, Salt Spear is my favourite, so I'm using that. There isn't much actual difference between the two, but, but the other thing we need to do is these down here. Regarding a very important item. Oh, so that. So this item, Madman's knowledge, gives us insight. This is the entire reason we came down this way. Madman's knowledge, if I use that, will then allow me to level up in the Hunter's Dream. Which means I can level up before even fighting the boss. Greg is first. Yeah, uh, the thing a lot of people struggle with in Bloodborne is fighting their first boss and not even having leveled up yet. So they're fighting it with just basic stuff. Uh, I hate these guys. be a dude with a spear who follows me. Humor. See, that was slightly too late and I staggered him, but he still managed to hit me. There. Oh, oh Greg. Greg is a coomer. We all know this. Right. 
Got him. So now I can safely pick my stuff up. Pick silver bullets. Oh yeah, more crows. Sorry, Melo. I'll try and kill them before they make too much noise. Not the burbs. And then there's the awkward drop onto one of these for an item as well. Is it this one? There. Break of bats. Yeah, crows are smart. Crows are crazy smart. Like they remember who is nice to them and who's mean to them, and they even talk to each other. Mm. Greg, he's getting bullied. So we got all the way up here. Even more crows. Madman's knowledge. Personal army of crows sounds like a great idea to be honest. So we can get back to Got him. And there we go. A long trip up this ladder. And there's another useful item we can get here. We'll open this gate. Talk to this person. Find your mum. Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. Tiny music box. It plays one of daddy's favourite songs. And when daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly for off without it. So, tiny music box. There's a little sound. That's all it's there for. But now we got these steps, because we've looped all the way back around here. So we got dogs. Angry dogs. Riflemen here are really annoying because they do a lot of damage and they can hit you from really far away. And my bullets do bugger all. So, what stuff in the way? There is a uh, a magpie that comes around the back of our house, in the back garden out there, and I will feed him bits of bread and stuff like that. Magpies are just as smart. But yeah, crows are crazy smart. Now this howling. We'll go up here. 
Bloodstone Shard. So, got two werewolves down there. We've got these stairs where we came up. We've got stairs that go down the opposite side. So, we're going to go this way. Because, it's a shortcut, shortcut back to the lamp, which is where we want to go. Because we're going to be coming down this way next. So we'll just run all the way back here. see stuff ragdolling as it spawns back in. It's one of the fun things about this engine, it like despawns bodies. If you go too far away and they spawn back in as you get closer and you can sometimes see them like ragdolling all over the place. Oh this guy's. You're alive. Get you two as well. Reg. Granted, I've seen that happen as well. We were once heading to my auntie's house, and we were behind a lorry on a country road, and a pigeon flew in front of the lorry, so we just drove past an explosion of feathers. So now we go back to. I oh know, but before I go back to the hunter's dream. I need to use one of these. One in sight. Now if I go back, the doll should be there for me to level up. <laughs> yeah, Pigeon should know the rules. It's his own fault. Hey look, the dolls are al alive. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes you of say blood. You say part pigeon. And I will channel them into your strength. Cool. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. And now we can level up. Very so. well. Let me stand close. First thing I'm gonna do, get them to 15. Get health up a little bit. So this is the bit people always get wrong in Bloodborne. This is the biggest tip Farewell, I can give you. Hunter. Let's pick May this up. So, go the summoning bell for summoning help. Go the DLC one. So you can see here I've leveled up. Can't level up anymore. But I've got 1,300 left. What you should do, whenever you play Bloodborne, don't bother bumping up, up an extra few or anything like that. Any remaining souls or blood, come back here. Spend the rest of it on blood vials. Do that every time you level up. And you will never run low on blood vials. Not unless you get really, really stuck somewhere. And then we punch German again because he's a dick. But yeah, if you ever see somebody running out of vials in Bloodborne, that's like the five hen thing to do is level up, use all your remaining souls on blindfold vials. You can get to a maximum of 300 in storage. And I know that because I've reached it on two characters. <laughs> and the same goes for the bullets as well. So we'll go back here. Ghost of Tsushima. I have... I've not finished it yet. But I have played it. I'm about two thirds of the way through. It is a fun game. It reminds me a lot of 
Tenshu, if you ever played any of the Tenshu games. But Ghost of Tsushima has like multiple different ways you can play it. Like depending on how you build your character. And I went full stealth because I like stealth games like that. So we're back to this building now. This building is gonna be our shortcut Guys. back to where we were. Always make sure to kill the dude in the wheelchair because he's got a huge gun and he will shoot you in the back. So now we go upstairs. Couple dudes upstairs. So there are games that you will get free basically when you get your PS5 Greg. Um, I can show you now actually. Go here. PlayStation Plus. So, see these here? PlayStation Plus collection. Just by getting a PS5 and having your PS Plus, you get all of these. And then that one underneath that you can't see there is Ratchet and Clank. So you get Ratchet and Clank, Last Guardian, Last of Us Remastered, Bloodborne, Till Dawn, Days Gone, which is a really good game, I like that game. Detroit, Uncharted 4, Batman Arkham Knight, Infamous Second Son, I also recommend, that's a great game. Black Ops 2, Battlefield 1, Persona 5, also a great game. Resi 7, also a great game. Most Hunter World is also awesome. Crash Insane Trilogy, the original God of War, Mortal Kombat 10, Fallout 4, and Final Fantasy 14. All of those you get just for having a PS5 and a PS Plus subscription. And all of these are worth at least trying. Uh, back to game. There. But yeah, it's a pretty good lineup. But yeah, the reason I came upstairs in this building now is because it leads back out here. Right. So left, that leads to boss. Right, you can see those two werewolves wandering around. Uh, we're just going to run past these guys because they are a bold to fight. just don't want to. They may follow us down here, but they don't often. So now we are going back down into the sewers. We got a couple of guys down here to fight. So... and get this one for us. Those guys are a pain to fight in melee sometimes, so I usually just spam shooting them so I can harry them. And we'll get this dude on this side. There. Um, there's no items or anything over here, but there is that drop down. As you can see, there's rats hiding down there. So we are going to go down the ladder. But before we do, because I'm in a short safe spot, I'm going to run away and go to Lou for a second. So I will be right back.
Hi cuties. I should have really put some music on or something, I won't be right back then. It's almost silent in game where we are. Boom. Back. So. Oh yeah, we were going down here after the rats, weren't we? These guys like this big jump. So, come on, throwing knives. Throwing knives that I will probably never use. Rats, 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 rats. Jump at me, come on. Okay, I'll make it nice and easy. See if they jump, they have like a second or so. They need to recover before they can do anything else. And if they do that, you can just wail on them. Come on. You don't want to jump. And now. And he falls down there, but now we get actual hunter gear. It's what we wanted. Now this hunter gear actually a reference to a film. It's a film I really like as well, it was like a big inspiration for the game. Brotherhood of the Wolf. And I will see if I can find a decent picture of the the gear the dudes wear in it. Because they are literally the inspiration for the hunters in Bloodborne. So Brotherhood of the Wolf. There we go, first result. If I show you this now. You know. There. There you go, there's the other hunter outfits. And that's where the inspiration for all the hunter outfits and stuff came for in this game is all stuff. From this film, but like you can even see it better with uh, with this image. They just took a load of stuff from this film to use in Bloodborne, but it's a really good film. But I will suggest it for a watch party at some point. Right, so we got the rats. Time to. Uh, Get this fancy drop off here. Where? More blood. And now we drop down this way. There we go. Now these things look like corpses. They're not. See? just walk up and there's a bunch of them these guys are basically so intense Imagine streaming FIFA. I never really played FIFA. Even when I did play games like that, I was more of a Pro Evolution Soccer fan. So. Continue this way. Got more crawly people. 
Ow. He likes to vomit at us. Yeah, two of the games that I used to buy religiously were Pro Evo when the new one came out and the new F1 game, whenever, whatever it was. But I've not bought either of those for years. Ever. Right, more crawly people. One down here as well. They're in the way of the item that I want. <laughs> The advantage of a global community, Greg, is to meet lots of different people. And then make politics. That one was to throw from us again. Back. Ah. more crows. for the fun bit. Time for Mr. Piggy. Mr. Piggy who has the best backstab animation. Right up his ass. There we go, Blood Vial. Full Blood Jew. And this is a badge. So any hunter badges like that give you access to new weapons and new outfits to buy in the hunter's dream. But first we're going up this way. No worries Bart. So up we go, up we go, up the longest ladder in the world. You can hear enemies at the top of here. Didn't happen this time, but occasionally that big guy will glitch out. And when he sets off the uh, the big rolling ball, it hits him as well. I'm just insta kill him. He didn't do it this time. So, we're going to head back across this bridge. Where there's now a lot of dead guys who got hit by that flaming ball. Surprise! So you can see all these dead guys down here. And this was the ladder that we could, could have come up a, sec a few seconds ago. Now we go up the lift. Because the list is yet another route back to the shortcut. Because it's this lift that we could see earlier. Take out these two rock trolls again. Now we can just head up this way, and we've got yet another shortcut. And I can go and level up a bit. So he's dead. And we can head back to the Hunter's Dream for more levels. And to upgrade our weapons a bit, because we've got a few weapon upgrade stones now. We'll ignore you first. We'll go and punch this dick. 
45 weapon. Uh, no. Need to put the cleaver in storage. Because we're using the salt spear. Only upgrade. So I'll use three to upgrade it once. We need one more to upgrade it to five. So yeah, you need three for the first upgrade, five for the second. So now we level up. Welcome, what is it you? Very well, let me stand. And more health. Farewell, may. Uh, but we've only got 66 left, so we've not got enough to buy any blood vials, so we won't. We'll head back to Central Yarnum, and then we're going to go and fight our first boss. I'm going to go and fight the guy who is my new sub alert. Bum, 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 bum. So, now we've got the shortcut down here with the uh, elevator, that's the way that we're going to go. Rock trolls. Come on. Oh, it's a one shot kill now, I've upgraded. Perfect. Blood vials, more blood vials. Stocking up. Full head. Elevator. Yeah, but I do try and do the fancy thing across the bridge. Oh, not really fancy, but just run up here and get the attention of this lot until the big fireball arrives. There we go. And it missed almost all. taken care of. Oh, it got one. Typical. We got Mr. Rock Troll up here. Yeah, Greg is not like other guys. Other guys would have left the penguin alone. go. Now if I get really lucky, one of these two will drop an upgrade material. And that means we'll be able to upgrade the weapon again straight after the boss. So, back stand. Vial. Oil learn. Uh, nope, no great for us. So now it is boss arena time. Quirky special, Craig. Right. This is 
Gascoigne. He's another hunter. He has a big axe. So, first thing I'm trying to try and carry him a bit. Even though I am not good at it. It is one of the better ways to do it. Isn't? There is one attack that's like almost guaranteed parry if you lose it. Come on, do your roll. There. Got one parry. Come on, that's going. He has a gun as well, and he's his one. Come on. Always time that one. Moment. Oh, gas going on. Let me parry on it. makes him freak out. It gives you like a few seconds of it. And he dead. So yeah, the tiny music box was a little bit delayed. But you use that mid-fight and it makes him freak out. Welcome. Yeah, we'll do Manu. So first boss is down, and he gave us, us a fancy key, which opens this gate here. But first, we have this. Oh no. Poor girl's little mom is dead. Gascoin was the dad, if you've not worked that out yet. The dad that keeps forgetting who they are. <laughs> Mellow walking on the iPad. Yeah, first boss Welcome. down. What is it? So, uh, Farewell, good see name. if we can get an upgrade. Don't think we picked up any upgrades, did we? No, we didn't. Oh well, level it is then, and then we've got to do a bit of backtracking. Welcome. What is it? Very well, then. So. Help up to 15. Farewell, good and then remember, mantra, anything left over, all the good Oh yeah, because we picked up the badge, we've got more stuff to buy here now. So 
we could buy molotovs and pungent blood throwing knives pops up with the other starting weapons that we can buy and there's this outfit but that was there anyway so now a little bit of backtracking to do we'll go and tell the little girl that unfortunately your daddy went crazy and killed your mum so we killed him the way it works And we can also go and do another boss while we're here. So we're gonna go. It's the quickest way to her. It's gonna be this way. Kill you. Kill you, China. Yeah, unfortunately, Bloodborne is. Not a happy game. Almost nobody gets a happy ending in it. I can take this off my bar now, can I? Yeah. Everybody's ending in Bloodborne is basically well. Kill you. Try and kill these now. As you can see, they have a lot of health. That's why I don't like fighting them all the time. And they do a lot of health as well. Ah. <laughs> That's why I don't like fighting them. So our first death. But it just pops us back here. Did you drop anything? No. That's one thing I really like that they added in Elden Ring. Is that if you kill somebody and they're dropping something, you get like the little sparks off them to tell you. There's no waiting around for them to finish ragdolling. Hi, Mellow. Oh yeah, I should, uh... Give me a second. Hey, he has my boots. Right, it's the quickest way to the girl. Is it down here? Or is it? Oh, it's back past these, isn't it? <laughs> Sneak up behind this group. Oop, they're still behind. Still coming. Oh, no, no, I don't want to be here. Please. That trick. I can. Bye. You nerds can't climb ladders. Give the little girl her bad news. Hello, Mr. Hunter. Still can't find my mum. Was it really her? Mummy? Mummy? Kid. Now. 
nothing happens if you try and talk to her. Right, let's go do the other boss. It's your fault. No. Hey, he talks. I did not realise those dudes talk. They usually just roar and go roar. Right. See how tough this boss is. I usually save him until a bit later, but we may as well do him while we're here. So, Mr. Rock Troll. So, this boss here has what's called breakable parts. It's in Dark Souls 3, it's in Bloodborne, and it's in Elden Ring as well. If you attack a specific part of the boss enough, it breaks and staggers them. Stops them using certain abilities and stuff. It is a big boss of being able to take, big part of being able to take this boss down easier on. Easy, earlier on. This is also the first boss most people come across, and it is a pain to fight straight away. Go for his legs. His knees are what we're trying to break. There you go. That big explosion then was his leg break. That leg broke, swap the other one again. Staggered. unlock the boss completely. It can do a little twitch at you and that's about it. But yeah, this is about dead end. Literally all that's here for this. And there are a couple of bosses you can do something like that with. See, this guy here, this little phantom, the big hammer is using the weapon that I usually use. <laughs> it's all about practice, Bart. But now, more levels. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me stand. So, we got these three at fifteen. These are all pretty much what are going to be in increasing strength skill, endurance and vitality. So, vitality is at 15, we'll put endurance up a bit, got ourselves some more stamina. 245 left, and we did get another badge. So yeah, you can see these two guys little holding up little jars here, there to basically tell us, yeah, you've got new stuff available, look. <laughs> And now we can get antidotes, Golter's marks, and we can get a lantern as well. We do want the lantern. It is really useful. The other things we've now got available, we've got this Hunter Chief emblem, which we will need later. And we've unlocked the Kirk Hammer, which is the big hammer that I usually use. It's basically a sword that turns to a big heavy hammer. 
and then we've got the repeating pistol as a weapon. Repeating pistol's really good. Basically a six shooter. So what we're gonna do we do have some blood in our inventory. We're gonna get two thousand so we can get the lantern. Because the lantern is that useful. So hand lantern. Yes please. And we will put it on our little quick bar. So, oh, I didn't want it on that one. I wanted it on this one. So, and lantern, activate. We've now got a little light that goes everywhere with us. And this is another thing that they carried over to Elden Ring. Like you can use the torch, but the lantern is enough. And now we'll go back to gonna go back to that little girl again. But now we've got the great bridge, so we can just go straight from here. But yeah, I learned a lot about Bloodborne. Like I played it multiple times. Like I've got the platinum for this game. I've done all the endings and everything. And like when I first got into watching Twitch, there were only really three channels that I watched. One of them was Manu. So yeah, like Manu and Alex, I would watch. He's a Welsh streamer. I used to do a lot of uh, World of Warcraft stuff called Kaif. And then there's a Bloodborne the speedrunner called Hey Zeus, here's Toast. And Hey Zeus has or did have the speedrun record for it. I'm not sure if he still does. For Bloodborne. He was the first person to do Hitless Bloodborne as well, all the way through. And he did it at Games Done Quick as well. He did it in front of the You'll get there eventually, Bart. Right, we just running again. Still coming. Leave me alone. I can't trick them off the ladder again. Come on, nerds. Come this way. Come on. Over you go. Over you go. But you can't climb ladders, so you can stay down there. No response. All we get now. But we make our way down to the sewers again, where Mr. Piggy was. Oh yeah, where's Brick Troll? He's still down here somewhere. Where has he wandered away? Oh well. So yeah, head past all these dogs and stuff again. Jesus has done some crazy stuff like I've seen him do Hitler's Bloodborne, Hitler's like the entire series. So going from Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne and Sekiro do the entire lot Hitler's. Uh, I've seen him do uh, like Bloodborne randomizers because he's got a 
the hacked PS, uh, PS4 he can do them on. Or hacked PS4 Pro, I should say. And he's also done a randomizer speedrun. Which is something me and another dude suggested. Which was really fun. Which was, he's got this randomizer. It's set up in a specific way. So what if he was just to do a speedrun category and you activate this setting on a randomizer and go. So back to the Piggy has a potion. I don't need it. Now if he's dead. Got a red messenger with him. This is here. Drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim. Strange choice indeed, but perhaps the messengers were a necessary conceit form of mourning. So yeah, basically that small kid who we just told her her mum was dead decided to come and see herself and got eaten by that pig. And that's the end of that kid. So we're going to shortcut back. And now on to the new area. Knit back to the hunter's dream. And we need to go to Tomb of Erdem. And we shall head to Cathedral Ward, which is a place we will come back to multiple times. Because it's like a nice big central area. So this is German's little graveyard we fought him in. We opened up this gate and now we head to the new area. So through the tiny little secret tunnel, up the ladder. this which lets us put gems in our weapons which is gonna be really cool because I am gonna do the uh, chalice dungeons for story I say for story that's got like story bosses in that give you more lore and I'm gonna get a bunch of gems from there as well which will help us make our weapons even more OP Here we have the creepy chapel and the creepy dude who lives in it. Light this first. We'll speak to the creepy man. Look at him. Look at him. I rolled the handle. Handle the camera to get a better look. His face. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, Tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. 
The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> so yeah, he seems really creepy. He's actually a really nice person. Probably the nicest person in the game. Because he just wants to protect people. And he's just legitimately nice. You send people here, he looks after them, keeps them safe. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. If they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> here we go. So this is the other part of the chapel. We've got this bit out here. Oh, we've got this bit out here. So we'll go this way first because we can pick up a funny item. And this is the first meeting we have of somebody from the church. They are not nice. Yeah, he get the guy in there gets given like a little laugh, like to try and make it seem like he's suspicious. But he's not, it's meant to be like a nervous laugh that he has. Like he laughs when he's like nervous or scared or genuinely a nice person. More madman's knowledge. And now we've got another one of these dudes. I'm not too bad at the parrying, but I'm not great. There are some enemies that I just can't do it with. There is the wooden shield, the one weapon that is, this is the one item that is completely useless. The crude wooden shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. So yeah, you can you can equip it, you can use it, and you can block an attack with it, and then you immediately get staggered, and the enemy can repost you. So it is not worth using at all. And now out here, I'll be able to show you the first of the extra weird stuff. So I'll take you out. And there's another one there. So we'll wait for him to come round. Yeah, yeah Cathedral Ward is which starts to be extra weird. So yeah, you can see, nice look on the outside of the chapel, an item over here, however, I get too close this way, that happens. That is from an enemy that we currently cannot see at all. Yeah, the game punishes shield use. The game is trying to encourage you to be aggressive with how you play the game. So, we just got new clothes, so I'm putting the top hat on. Hunter garb, hunter gloves. So yeah, everything else is the same, but we now get a top hat. So we've got up this way. Here is the second part of extra weird stuff. A freaking giant. Also, this is another enemy where you can break. You can break this guy's leg. I'm 
managed to bring it in this time. Ow. Should we try it? No. Kill him. Yeah, sometimes if you break his leg, he goes down onto like one knee and then you can just kill him. So up here is a gate we cannot open. Only a special emblem opens the main gate. So the thing that we could see earlier, which was the um, chief hunter emblem for like 10,000, we need that to open that gate. But we're going to go this way. Because we want more upgrades, and more upgrades are in this direction. Hell's back on. Because. I want your attention. a single point of damage. Got ya. Come on. And that's the rock trolls dealt with. Throws. Oh, he got me. Yeah, that attack hits a lot of times. Did not expect him to be able to kill me with it though. Bastard. No worries, Bart. So I'm basically going to do a quick run around this area and then. I will probably end. going to kill him. There. And you got me all my blood echoes back. One crow. Nice chunk missing out of here, where there apparently used to be a bridge, all the way across there. So, anything else around here? I can't remember, I don't think there's anything on this bit. There is the big dude over there. We got another. 
another crawl. Come on. And what we want to do, we want to get past the big dude because our first of our little bugs is over there. We have upgrade materials in our Got him. This Stone shards. It's gonna be a bunch of upgrades for our weapon. And then we go to the physics room. This room exists for one reason and one reason alone. So open this first. Get our first weapon gem. And then The only reason I'm doing is to do this. The roll left over everything. It's so satisfying. Rolling into it all so it breaks. There we go. Perfect. Room looks exactly as it should do. Right. Now we're going to head back to the lamp. Get some upgrades and then I think I'm going to finish. So. Up, 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 up. Open the gate. So, next stream we'll go down that way and carry on. But for now, we're going to head back here, do some upgrades and stuff. Because weapon upgrades do a lot more for us earlier on than uh, actual levels do, damage wise, anyway. Up here, hit German in his stupid face. Upgrade you. Upgrade again, so we're at plus three. Now we need twin bloodstone shards for it. So we'll upgrade the pistol a little bit as well. And blood gem fortification. This is where all your weapon customization comes in. Oh, I've only got one gem at the moment, which is this. Which is phys physical attack up 1.1% and HP continues to recover plus 1. So that's basically just like a really, really slow healing gem. Is there anything in the insight bath we can buy? Oh no, there is stuff we can buy here. We can buy Gascoigne's gear. So we'll get that. And that bar that just popped up is beasthood. The higher your insight is, the lower your beasthood is. And insight Welcome can like it? does affect well, damage you take from things as well. So we were getting you up. So you're up to fourteen. Farewell, good. Remember, always spend your remaining on vials. <laughs> And now we can head back to the chapel. It 
So that is where we're going to finish today. Just a little bit over two hours. It's good for me. Got two bosses down. We've started to get our build. Started to upgrade our weapon a ton. Got some fancy gear. In fact, I might put a couple of pieces of German's gear on. Because he's got... <laughs> there we go, we'll put Gascoigne's clothes on. But yeah, this is going to be me done for today. So, let's see here. We'll go to the fancy end stream. Oh, I'd enjoy myself. This is the first out of the, like, FromSoft games I've played where I've not done, like, a... Uh, a fancy challenge for it, so I'm enjoying just beating things up. So yeah, I will be back again next week. I'll be doing some more Bayonetta on Tuesday and more Bloodburn on Thursday. So I'll post in the Discords whatever times I'm starting. Um, but until then, let's go find somebody to raid. Let's see who's online. Who is here? Who is on? B -b -b Tell you what. Jess is doing some Dark Souls 3, so we'll go and say hello to Jess. So, raid time. Uh, to you as well, Manu. <laughs> it's alright. So, thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you for the subs and hanging out, and everybody who said hello, and everybody lurking as well. We'll go and say hello to, to Jess, who is like struggling with Dark Souls 3. She's doing like an onion onion person build so that'll be fun to watch and i will see you all next time bye bye